Hi, this is Mahesh Jutta here. Today I want to show some mathematical formula which will exactly suitable to predict the future of the market. Means how powerful the trend. It means how strong the trend was. It doesn't matter, but that should maintain. The trend should be maintained some swing highs and swing lows they should create even though the trend is very strong for example in this situation you see the trend was very strong but they created they created so many highs and lows see they created these tops and these bottoms right <coughs> So every swing high and swing low, there is a time period is there. Uh, I will show you one of the formula which is work very good. See, these are the market values at the time when the swing low is a 65.0. Okay. These are the market values on 106.5 and 152.8 something. Okay. Every time the value is different. How this one will work, so I will show you a few examples now. See, this is a top. This is the top they created on 24th September. At the time, the market value was 91.0, right? Where is my calculator? Yes. See, first of all, we have to take the square root 2 into multiple by 91.0 we have to take a decimal point which means 9.1 9.10 equal to 12 candles which means 12.86934 it means 12 to 13 candles let's we let us see what happened after the 12 to 13 candles oh i have to zoom then you will get a clearer picture Yes, see we got 12.86 something means uh, it's a 13, 12 and 13 candles after we will see some difference in the market. See this, uh, this is the candle of the swing high and after 12 candles you see, this is the 13th candle and this is the 12 candle and 12 and 13. The 13th candle what they did, it means the time was completed the expression time of the buyers and sellers it will gives you it means in this case it's they push the market to downside there's a sellers expression time see we get a 12.86934 it means almost 30 see after 13 candles what happened the market exactly stops and how can we uh, how can we confirm the trade before we are going to buy you see this is the previously a resistance you see this it's tested this level as so many times they break out after they came back and they gone high and again after 13 candles again they came back to the same level we can enter a buy trade here and you see 64 pips they go high Again, uh, we will do the same value all calculate with the square root 3. 3 square root multiplied by 9.10. 15. Okay. You just clearly see. See, 14 and 15. You see, if you observe very clearly, then the price will every time the price will something you see this is a previously the price was stopped and exactly you see the 15th candle and this one is 15 candle you see the price here was rejected okay and in the same way we will calculate it, the square root 5 square root 5 multiplied by 9 point 
one zero equal to 20 candles okay let's recalculate the 20 candles from this level to this 22 is 19 and this 20 you see again the creator something like in a bottom and you see this is the previous price stop after the breakout and this is the 20th candle I see again they move the price 36 pips okay and the final one is a square root of 8 multiplied by C9.10 well 25 candles now we will calculate the 25 22 24 exactly the 25th candle you see the 25th candle it means it's just a top to top it's just 25 candles from this top to this top and price will bounce back after the 25th candle there is no reason and even though they didn't come to test this resistance also why they stop remains there is no reason this is the only reason okay and let's we calculate from here onwards the value is 61 point wait a second nine right it means 2 square root multiple by 6.19 you have to take a decimal shift 6.19 equal to 8 candles okay 8.756 means 8 to 9 candles we will see some difference these are 4 see these are 8 to 9 candles you see that this is the ninth candle see 8 to 9 what will happen the price take it on again they created this bottom okay it means after the square root 5 I'm thinking the next square root 5 they are going to create in a top with the same market value 5 square root into 6.19 13 let's recalculate the 13 we will delete this one this is 16 15 13 13 this is the bottom 8 square root into 6.19 equal to 17.50 something in between the 17 and 18 let's we see what will happen 16 17 18 again this is the 17 candle you can see again they created top to top see this is the exact 17th candle here also they didn't come to test the resistance previously what they created right this is the price they stop but this is the resistance they didn't come but even though after 13 candles 17 candles sorry it drops again 52 pips here there is no logic you have to understand the time and price the time will decide the trend for example in this situation you see here in this situation the 91.0 is means 9.10 we taken as a square root 8 into 9.10 equal to 25 candles it means from this top to this top is exactly 25 candles you can calculate exactly 25 candles after the price drops in the same direction you see 8 square root into 6.19 the market value equal to 17.50 something in between 17 and 18 see from this top we take this market value and you see exactly the 17th candle you see again the price drops so most of the time I will use this formula to predict the expiration time of the swing highs and swing lows it means how powerful the trend was very strong it doesn't matter for example this is the market value and this is a final example I'm going to show see 8 square root directly I'm just taking 8 square root okay 
8 square root multiple by 72.0 which is like 7.20 equal to 20 okay and you just see here after 20 candles what happened it is a 41 and these are 34 and 18 19 20 this candle after you see what happened the creator and the top this is the top we take this market value and we multiply by the square root 2 uh, sorry square root 8 and after that this is the previous support you see here this is the previous support was break by this bearish candle and this is the candle which will give a 20.3 something this is a 20th candle and you see here the price exactly stops this 20th candle and we are selling here because we already know the support was break and this is our stop loss is here this is our stop loss and where is our take profit it's it's just like see the take profit means uh, you have to take in a, another uh, price projection it means from this top to this bottom is you have to take this one and you have to keep it like this and this is the 50% you see this is the 50% and you see the price was stopped exactly the 50% these calculations are comes like a geometry it's a different subject but every time most of the cases I am predicting the swing highs and swing lows the calculation of the time and the expiration time of the swing high to swing low I will calculate using this formula and so far I given so many examples to you yeah that's it maybe you can try in this way and you will get the better results and you know when to enter the trade because when time expiration time when you calculate with this formula you get something 20 means you have to understand the price either it will be come close to the resistance or close to the support when number of candles if you get when you are counting with this formula with the market value the 20 candles means now the breakout this is a support now it's become a torn coat is resistance now the breakout after they came back to retest when time and price are coincidence okay this formula is uh, very powerful and highly accurate I hope you guys will use this formula and you I hope you will get in better results and uh, yeah that's it and I will try to rebuild so many formulas uh, very soon I will try to make enough videos because most of the people are just asking me about my entry point I'm nothing magical here I'm just simply using this calculation and see most of the time you see here from this calculation we took here 91.09.10 the square root 8 they again we got the 25 candles and the price very closely to this resistance and we can enter this trade and we can catch some pips like this okay again from we took the 6.19 with the square root 2 we got this top and again we catch this 46 pips and this is the support again this is the support again so here we can buy at the same time again we, we calculate we calculate with this top and we got this here and you can see here it's a support break after the candle is going to test if you enter the trade this is our star plus 20 pips and take profit I already told you we can take this measurement from the swing high to the previous creators low and you have to project this price to the bottom side after the break would happen we enter the trade and you see the middle middle dot this is the 50 percent and uh, you see there is nothing here there is no support but even though the price was stopped because we are taking this measurement is comes from the price but we are drawing these lines is a formula which will gives you the time I hope you guys can understand yep thank you so much